the dangers of playing hard to get. You know, I notice women, like girls, ladies, they love playing hard to get so much. They grew, they grew up being told that in order to keep a man interested, to make a man after I, not to, to leave you after I get you, play hard to get. And some, some way, somehow, I think that is a myth. In fact, like hard to get, you know, like I want to reveal something that you ladies, you don't know about playing hard to get. And at the end, you end up missing out on good guys who really love you, who really dig you. So at least if those who want to hear, they can hear and be careful. In this video, I also do a follow up video about how to safely play hard to get. So, but to now, this video right now is talking about the dangers of playing hard to get. Here are the dangers. You know, yes, it's, you might have heard that you must play hard to get so to keep a man interested and also so that uh, after he gets you, he can value you and all those things. But let me ask you one, some, I'm a guy, right? You rem remember that? Uh, or you can see that I'm a guy. Of course, we encounter girls who like you. I like that. But ask yourself one thing. Do you think for you to prolong saying yes to a guy, like he's gonna be at the end after getting what he's been looking for from you, is he? Do you really, really think that is what is going to make him value you the most as a woman? Look. Yes, you might feel like like a, uh, maybe you are just like a property. You are a human being. You are not a property. Where you feel like, ah, oh, he worked so much for me. He's not going to value me. Yes, somewhere, somewhere, it might sound, logically, it might sound real. Ne? But let me tell you something about guys. When a man gay has interest on you, first thing that happens, especially if that man is a good guy, His interest on you at that moment, moment is very real. So the moment you play so much hard to get, maybe you make him wait for like six months, five months, or two minutes for so long, you know, in that process, that interest on you is dying. And when now maybe you finally say yes, you find that he no longer loves you like that, he already lost interest. In the beginning, when a man approaches you, he has so much imaginations, fantasies about you two together and all those things. So as you are delaying, as you are ignoring him, you are hanging up when he calls you, as you are like uh, saying no when he proposes you. It's like every time when he goes, he gets disappointed, feels some anxious, anxiety and all those things and in the long run. That's how why some men in father now start pulling back. They are not just giving up just because they're giving up. But because deep down it's hurting them. And they are tired of being hurt. So even when finally after those maybe a year or two, you say yes and you feel like, yeah, you'll be happy. He no longer has that interest on you. You took so long and... Now maybe he might have just continued just because you knew that yes, it took so long but most likely you find that now even after getting what he wanted, he pulls back. But with good guys, one thing I can tell you, some of them you find by then they have lost interest. Maybe they found somebody else and in your mind you feel like, ah, oh, he was not serious. That is not the truth. There's no such thing. If a man really liked you from the get-go, especially a good guy, there is no way he can come to you and take you or look at you as a cheap lead just because you said yes instantly or even if it's not instantly, just because he didn't delay so much. That only kills attraction and interest. That's the truth. And the men end up losing interest on you. And you feel like you convince yourself it's because he was not serious. No, that's not the truth. But then, if it was a bad guy, that yes, there are those men now, ne? Who come with an intention of just sleeping with women? Yes, they, those are the ones whom you can play hard to get. 
But those men still, even if, you, if they finally get you, their intention is one thing. Some of them, they end up even getting angry. The longer a woman is playing hard to get or a girl, it feels like the day I get her, I'm going to show her. I'm going to sleep with her and I just dump her or I just stop giving her attention. And ladies, they finally, when you give in to him, you feel like, ah, oh, he's going to value me. You how long he struggled. Men don't operate like that. If you had yeah, those, sometimes you find that you trigger those, those motives from that man when we're praying so much hard to get. It feels like the day he gets you, she can't hang up on me, the way she would talk to me, the way she would ignore me. No, I must keep on pushing until I, so long as one day I get her, that's it. And that's why most women at the end of the day, they get your heart broken. I'm sure some of you might relate. Some of you ladies, you will play that hard to get, but at the end, it didn't give you the results that you were expecting. So what is the solution to all this? If you want to play hard to get, just first observe the guy you want to play it on. Is that guy you think maybe he's a worldly guy, his reputation is bad? Yes, I can encourage you that yes, you can play because you know that that guy is most likely he's going to sleep with you and leave you. Especially if you are a worldly person, because okay, as Christians, I don't expect that, because you know sex outside marriage is, is a sin. So I don't expect to, sex to be a thing. But I'm just giving, I'm just trying to be general here. I'm not promoting people to sleep outside marriage. No, I'm just trying to give you, just, I don't have a better example. I just want you to understand me well. Because those are the main, main things I think girls are scared of when it comes to getting in a relationship with some men. So look at it like that. If you are dealing with a guy who's known as a womanizer who's been sleeping around, yes, you can play that hard to get. But it doesn't even change anything. If he's a player, he will sleep with you and still leave you. It won't change. So it's better to avoid such a man. And if you are dealing with a Christian guy or a good guy, obviously there's a good chance that that guy won't dump you. And some of them find SP is a Christian guy. He has no motive of sleeping with you. So why are you playing hard to get? What is he going to gain from you, which is going to make you feel like less of a woman after, if maybe in cases to betray you? Look at that, Ed, to start with. And even if you play hard to get, make sure you don't overdo it. Don't make it too hard. Don't make it at the end, no. In fact, I'm going to explain this properly in the next coming video, how to safely play hard to get so now in this video i'm just i was just explaining the dangers of playing hard to get most women they end up missing out we as guys we encountered so many women whom we really loved we really liked and they kept playing games to the point where we gave up because we also have our self-worth when a lady is busy saying no is busy ignoring because sometimes you're not even sure whether she's playing hard to get or what or not you just want because the next thing maybe you are busy chasing her Next thing, now she's dating this other dude. He's not even a Christian. Maybe he's a jack. He's a total jack. But she didn't even give him a tough time. But you as a good guy, you've been running around. She's been treating you like you're nothing. It makes you feel less of a man. It makes you feel down. So as men, we also get to learn that the moment she says this, pull back. Because there are women who, when they are serious, and those are the ones who normally commit. Those who are serious find that they instantly say yes. They don't really hit around the bush. And we got to realize that most of them, that is why those are the ones in which the relationships, they get to work properly. But those who play games, it never even really lasts at the end. She will now learn to disrespect you. She will learn, now learn to do all those things. So it's not safe. It's not safe. But then if you want to play hard to get, I'm going to tell you, just stay tuned with the next upcoming video. On how to play at least to the point where less likely you will lose that good guy because at the end you lose a good guy you end up with a check and you end up feeling like you have your relationship stuff that you don't never work out because see it's at the end of the day it's your fault you wasted the, all the good guys away and the final the time where you finally realize that they had to get doesn't work you give open up to a wrong guy or a bad guy and now it does all those things you've been scared of. And now you end up being confused. So look at whom you are playing that hard to get game on. First check, do your research. And some men, the hard to get will not change 
the motive of a person or the person themselves. That's why I'm saying, yes, you can play it a little bit so that you don't appear to be so cheap. But the way most women play hard to get, they get it wrong. They don't even know how to. They lose out. And now when the final say, yes, a man has lost interest, ah, maybe they end up moving on. That's what I had for you today. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like today's video, share with your loved ones, follow me on Instagram. As for me, Ishmael M, I will see you next time. Remember to subscribe right now.